Hello everybody. Today I am just south of Parker, Arizona, right on Shea Road. Uh, today we'll be looking at the battery system inside my 2018 uh, toy hauler. And uh, let's go ahead and go inside. Okay, so I think we'll probably start off with the solar side of things. Uh, so I've got 1600 watts of solar on the roof. It uh, goes into a combiner box right above the refrigerator. The wires come down. Uh, I fished them in between the refrigerator and the bathroom wall. Uh, it was the only wall that I found in the trailer that was three inches wide. And then they uh, pop back out underneath the refrigerator. Uh, a lot of stuff in here. So I utilized a lot of this area that I thought was wasted. The inverter, the Venus GX, which is the brains of the system. Uh, there's also a 24 to 12 volt converter because of the batteries being 24 volt and the trailer wanting 12 volt to run everything. Uh, there's also a fuse in the back, uh, a T-fuse, which has got a higher AIC rating, uh, which makes things a little safer for the batteries. Next, we move on to the Mini BMS. Uh, mini because it doesn't actually cut power it just sends a signal to a relay or a contactor and bms is battery management system so this will take the battery offline uh, with the contactor for overvolt undervolt situations uh, the cells being out of balance or for temperature two different independent relays uh, so you can shut off the charging or shut off the discharging separately which is nice. I've been testing these batteries for probably three months and uh, I've been able to get 600 amp hours out of the combined three modules uh, with a fairly conservative profile. I estimate probably about 85 percent of the capacity is what I'm using. Uh, I didn't really want to push things without the BMS modules in line and the fuses which I just installed for the video. Thanks for watching the video and have a great day.